Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me again today. This is your host, ID Jester, and we are, as you can see, about ready to delve into Arcania F Gothic 4. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, Arcania Gothic 4. I, according to Steam, I have played this game for 14 hours approximately, but it seems like um, when I got this game several years ago that I played more of it, but... According to Steam, I only played 14 hours of it, but I have such fond, fond memories of this game. And it's been one of these games that I've been dying, dying to get back into and try and play again. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, I have no save games or anything, so I have to start back from the beginning, which is just fine. So, for those of you who are unfamiliar with Arcania, this is part of the Gothic 4 system. It was developed by Spellbound, actually. I think Spellbound was the first was the first time the other gothic games I believe were made by Piranobites. Um, this game was released in October of 2010. Uh, you can pick this up on Steam or any of your other uh, distributors out there but this is a wonderful action RPG and when I mean action I think uh, I have a lot of great memories of this game uh, but just played a few minutes of it just to refresh my memory of what the keys do and stuff. I do like playing with the controller. So let's uh let's get into it and see where we're at here. Alright, so here you are, here's your character, and as you can see this game is very nice graphics. Um for a game that came out in 2010. It's oops. Uh it does it's not perfect, I will say it's not perfect. I'd be the first to admit it's not perfect. But it is got all the elements that you are looking for uh, for any kind of action RPG games. Um, it has dodging, so when you're getting attacked, you can try to dodge attacks that are coming in on you. You obviously can swing your weapon, you can jump, um, you can block if you have a shield. Um, and so yeah, that's pretty much it. You're running around doing different quests and stuff. You just killed this animal, we can search it, we get the treasure off of it. And we're moving on. Of course, uh, there is of course, quest logs here. Right now our mission is to go to Melgan's tomb and recover his dagger because we are in love. We're young, we're in love, we love his daughter. We want to marry her, but of course the father has decided that put us on some trials here to see if we're worthy. So here's a nice little map. You can see you start down in here, you come to the little village, and we're just a little simple fisherman, shepherd I guess in this case. Um, graphic wise, the game is exceptionally well for a game that came out in 2010. I do have it set at 1920 by 1080 I believe. Um, but you can see, really nice details in the graphics. The other thing is this is kind of like the first open world RPG that kind of took form and kind of inspired some of the other great ones out there. So let's see if we can uh, head into the cave here into Melgan's tomb. Melvin, Melgan, whatever his name was. Recover his dagger. The thing I like about this game is it's got a really nice combat system. So when you actually swing your weapon, it actually feels like you're sw swinging a weapon. When you hit something, it feels like you're hitting something. What have we got here? Burning Galwick oil. Let's see what's up here. There's an enemy. So here, you see your first little bit of combat here. So it is, you know, obviously if I'm pointing down here and swinging, it's not going to do me any good. Okay, so it is kind of a um, hit-based. Alright, so we ended up coming there. Oh, there's, oh, there's another passageway out. The other thing I loved about this game, if I recall, is there's lots of little special things you can find on the different, in the world. Little piece of parts and different statues and all kinds of different things that you can come across by just exploring around. Hello, get that. There we go. Uh, you can do crafting, there's upgrade system where you can put points into certain aspects of your characters, and 
yeah a lot of fun let's go back in here and check this out so yeah if you're uh, a big fan of adventure games in general I would highly highly recommend this game another mole rat here first you start off pretty pretty simple here with the little monsters but as you progress through the story obviously you're going like, to find bigger and better things kill the mole rat kill them. there you go all right, and what else do we have here? Jump. We got jumping in this game. Like I said, dodging. Uh, before we pick up the dagger, let's see what's in the chest. All right, we will take everything. Of course, we can go into our inventory. Uh, it equipped a shield for us. We have just a rotten club. A rusty sword, five melee power. This is six melee power. We'll just keep our club. Um, lots of different spots for different things. And what was the consumable item we picked up? Uh, elixir keeps you fresh and healthy and helps against cuts, bruises, brass, warts, bites, and diarrhea. Nice. Plus 30 health regen for 20 seconds, plus 10 to your armor. Uh, of course, you have different fruits you can pick up that'll give you some life back. All right, let's pick up the dagger and see what we got here. Did anything bad happen to us? Nope. Thought we'd have a big old skeleton jump out of the closet at us. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. That's good. All right, heading back to town, I guess. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, like I said, sometimes you get a little bit of clipping with your character walking into objects and stuff, but all in all, I don't know how to sneak yet. Of course not. <clears throat> Jumping, rolling, dodging. Swinging weapons. Of course, it zooms out when you've got combat, so that's awesome. And like I said, it's open world, so you can do just about anything, go any place you want, follow the story along, do as many quests as you want, do as many side quests as you want. Can I get over that? Yes, I can. Alright. And you can kind of explore around and do whatever you want to do. Okay, put your weapon away. Thank you. We come into this house, we can see what they have. Oh look, there is a short knife. We'll take the short knife. The chest. And anything else in here worth value. Oop, there was something. What was that? We always have 27 hit points. Probably cooking recipe for grilled meat. Yes, we will take that. So alright. Let's head back to our girlfriend's father, Mr. Troublemaker. What do you there. want? You can interact with a lot of different characters. Let's see what nasty thing he has to say about us now. He's not very happy with us because we're just a little shepherd. And he wants his daughter to marry the king, of course, like any good father. Hey, 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 you, come here. Talk to me, talk to me. Talk to me, there you go. Have you got the dagger? I got your dagger. Here is Melgan's dagger. Hmm. Oh well. The first trial was the easiest anyway. What's Course the second one? You need to show you're able to protect Ivy. Do you want to fight me? No. Some smuggler seems to have settled down by the mountain lake. Drive him away from our island, and bring me his weapon as a proof. The gate of the pond is closed. I'll need the key if I'm to take care of this smuggler. Sure, here it is. And now go. Alright, leveled up. 
All right, so you can open the skills menu and spend a skill point by clicking on the plus and minus button next to the skill. All right, I am using a controller for combat and stuff, but I am also using um, the keyboard. All right, so let's see what we got here. We have um, lunge attack. Lunge attack automatically bridges distance to an enemy that you're too far away for a normal strike. Fury. After dealing a blow, attack again with your weapon. Grows to execute a flurry. Each strike dealt with a flurry requires six stamina. Two handed flurries consist of fewer individual strikes than one handed flurries. Precision. Zoom in on an enemy while charging a bow shot by pressing the zoom button. Alright, and of course, some of these unlock at certain levels. We have three skill points to spend, so we will use. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Let's use a flurry. And another flurry. Have one point left. We, um, we don't have a bow yet, but we'll probably be getting one. Then we'll put a point into lunging attack. Alright. And we will save. Okay. Goodbye. All good. Alright, so on our mini map, it should show us which direction we need to go. Of course, we can go explore first. Like I said, this is open world, so you can basically do whatever you want. Such fond memories of this. Really looking forward to trying this again. My goal... Oh, do we find a chest? We did find a chest. And it has a torch, some food, a knife, bandages, and arrows. Nice. See, that's what you get for exploring around, people. Jump, jump. There you go. Good job. Alright, so we're off to kill the smuggler. Oh, here's our girlfriend, though. Ivy. I tried to eavesdrop on you, but couldn't hear a thing. What does my father want now? He gave me the key you normally steal from his nightstand for me. Why? To drive, to drive away Diego from the island. But that's going to be difficult. I'll speak with Diego. Maybe he'll come up with something. Okay, so maybe we're not killing him, maybe we're just going to talk with him. Um, yeah, so, uh, what was I going to say? Yep, back to hit points or scores. So we don't need to about that. Smuggler in the forest. So we got to go talk to the smuggler and see if he'll, he'll probably want to leave if we do something for him. And, and the story goes. Of course, in the beginning, it's just going to be, um, okay, so now... What I have to do is figure out Flurry. After doing a low attack again with your weapon, grows an execution of Fury. Um, this is... And of course we have Mental, which is a lunge attack. So how do we activate these is my question. wanted to see if there's a special button or is it automatic I can't remember because like I said it's been a while since I played this and I feel ashamed that it's been so long ah. so we can go right over there and talk to this person or we could try to here you are again my Diego. friend how are your bruises doing not too bad oh in that case do you want to practice again? I'd like to, but... But what? Ah, Gomar ordered me to drive you away from the island and bring him your saber as proof. Uh, the other thing I like about this is you actually get full voice for your main character. Gromar ordered me to drive you away from the island and bring him your saber as proof. Really? <laughs> hmm. Now, why'd he want to do that? Oh, it's a trial or something. Before I marry Ivy. Well then, you've got a problem. Looks like it. 
What are we going to do now? I need to return to Argan soon anyway. Show me that you have learned something from me, and I will give you an old notched machete for Gromar. Do you know why Gromar wants to get rid of you? Isn't Gromar going to figure out the scam with the machete? Do you know why Gromar wants to get rid of you? Well, my friend, I guess it's because he owes me money. Or he wanted to give you a trial that you'd never pass. Isn't Gromar going to figure out the scam with the machete? Nah, he's never even been here himself. He sends Oric, his servant, to purchase goods from me. Okay, well, let's... Um... So... Oh, 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 wait a minute. I need to talk with you. I'm not done with you. Let's fight or end. Okay, let's look at our quest log here. Smuggler in the force. Uh, discuss the situation with Diego. Okay, well, maybe we need to actually fight him and see. Alright. I guess. Let's fight! Okay. Right mouse button block. Okay. What's our block? What's our block? All right. <laughs> Not bad. I surrender. Ooh, you're getting old. <laughs> Will you give me the machete now? Easy, easy, my friend. First you'll show me you can also fight against someone who doesn't wish you well. Who, who should, should I, fight? I fight then? If you head down the path to the beach, you'll find some goblins skulking around my boat. They skedaddle every time I come near, and I'm too lazy to chase after them. Take care of them for me, and I'll give you the machete. Excellent. Alright, so we're off to kill the goblins. Down the path to the beach. I'm assuming there's our mini-map. Uh, let's bring up our map. Actually, oop, oop. Where? That's... Okay, the path must go this way, dummy. Duh. There we go. There they are. There they are. So we're going to fight them next episode, folks. We get to try out our new powers, hopefully. Let's take a look at what we're, what we're up against. Oh, there they are. I see him down there. Um, hopefully we'll figure out how to activate our new powers. And uh, we'll see you next time, folks. This is Arcania 4. Gothic 4. So definitely check it out. You can see wonderful graphics. It's really immersive. So nice. Very nice. You can pick this up for like, I don't know, for 5 bucks on Steam. Compared to like... 80 bucks for Skyrim and you can see the combat is much more enjoyable swinging the swords doing things like that as opposed to having your awful combat system in Skyrim don't get me wrong I love Skyrim I love me some Skyrim but it's just I wish they would do something with their combat system okay we're gonna collect these flowers here because we can craft part of our little menu here is crafting so, yeah. Um, so exploring around and looking for different things. Always a good option. Alright, we'll see you next time, folks. We're going to kill some goblins.